My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and we're back on with the electric testing ability, and this time I want to talk about resistance. Or ohms. So, sometimes you want to test things like coils, um, coils, and coils. <laughs> it's the only one I can think of off the top of my head right now. Um, sometimes, or solenoids, you can do them, but that's a bit different. We'll go into that, I'll actually show you the demo for that. Um, but basically, what you're doing with resistance is, is you can imagine that throughout your entire system, there is a, a, a tube. These are your wires. And your electricity <laughs> flows down these wires. Now, these wires can be in your coil, you know, so they can be um, in your coil, in your... Um, ignition coil something like that and what you basically do is is when something is damaged it should have a higher resistance or lower resistance value depending on how that actual system works but basically what you're doing is it's exactly as you think with like a water pipe is if you've got a, a, a nip in that pipe somehow then there is going to be higher resistance here as the electricity tries to flow through that lovely lovely copper if it's been nicked or whatever there is a pinch point a uh, damaged wire basically or a burnt out wire or something like that when you try and pass current down that um, the resistance will go up because it is harder to in a sense push them electrons it's all ropey go uh, goosey loosey but you get what I mean and that's what you are trying to detect so let's just say your coil you know is uh, 14 kilo ohms or something like that and then you come back and it's 28 and you look at your specs and that's way too high that's because in here there is something that's damaged burnt out or something like that it's a way to see inside now you see if you try to do this with voltage you can still get 12 volts across that so you are not going to see that you know this is what we call the pressure of the system and you are not going to see a difference or a drop unless it's an absolute break if it's a break then obviously you're going to get no continuity so you're going to basically all you're going to get here is 12 volts or nothing now nothing is obvious you've got a broken wire but you could do that with a continuity test the reason why we use resistance is because that kind of in a sense tells us there's the condition voltage is a bit like a tiny bit like a continuity test where if you can pass something through it generally it's okay voltage is as the system is actually connected to a power source so when you connect to a battery you get voltage through it. If you connect your multimeter to a bulb, you are going to get nothing. You need a, a voltage supply to be able to measure voltage. Um, where resistance, the actual multimeter supplies the actual current through something, and we are looking at the condition of that current going in and that current coming out. And this is basically our resistance. This is what we are measuring. It's a way to see inside things that we can't possibly see. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit. 